Well, I'm going to start out, and the tool for this first part is a saw. <laughs> Let's get ready to cut this guy's head. Now I want this to sort of sit back on his head like that. I want to adjust the angle. Yeah. All right. And that's one of the beauties of uh, this true form armature is it's all foam in the head. Now the reason I cut that off is to uh, because I need to put a hat on it. Uh, this here gives me the uh, size of his head so that I can get the uh, brim of the hat perfectly uh, proportioned to his uh, head. Now the way I get the uh, brim size is I look at the photograph of this cowboy here and uh, you see how far out in front of his forehead that, that brim of that hat goes. And so now what I'm going to do is do the same thing here. And that's, that's about how far it is from his, uh, uh, where the, his edge of his head is and where the edge of the uh, uh, crown is. And that's how wide I'm going to make the brim on this hat. I've taken a, uh, just a regular uh, file folder. Uh, with the little hangers on it. Uh, this is a plastic coated uh, paper that's excellent for what I'm going to do here. And uh, I've already outlined the forehead or the, uh, the shape of the uh, head. And this is the front of the head here. And I marked it such with an arrow pointing forward and a flat thing showing it as the back. And I traced the outline of that. Now I take my pen and I put my brim width on there and I just follow the uh, distance from the uh, forehead or the uh, shape of the head so that I get it even all the way around. All right, that gives me the uh, shape of the brim of the hat. Or the size of the brim of the hat, and all I do is just connect all these dots the best I can. Let's put some glue down here so I can glue the uh, top of the head to that. Perfect. Now I take an exacto knife. cut the brim off around here. Okay, now I'm putting the brim, the underside, on the edge of the cutting board and uh, I covered the uh, center where the uh, foam is before I did this and now I just uh, add clay to this. You want to try to have it evenly thick. Uh, you don't want it like there's a low spot right there. And you can feel it with your fingers and you can uh, fill that in. And I'm bringing mine to about a sixteenth of an inch, maybe an eighth of an inch thick. I know this is uneven here, but I'll even that up once I get it on the head. Now I found the, the arrow. And I'm going to put that right aimed like that. Line it up so that the uh, edge of the skull matches up with the edge of the head. And uh, You want people to see the face 
in the gallery. And if I have his head down like I had it, the brim will cover too much of his face. Okay. Now I'm just going to build up the uh, crown. Hmm. Now I'm establishing the profile of the hat. The front part of the, the uh, crown is higher than the back part and it's just the uh, design of the hat and I think I know how that's created that way having worn a few hats in my time. So, and then I, as you saw, I, I start from the front of the uh, face or the forehead and go up and now I'm going down to the back of the for the uh, back of the head and coming up to meet it. And that kind of establishes uh, the uh, height of the hat. This crown. If I can do that without cutting my fingers off. Good thing. It's kind of like, you know, when somebody's carving out of stone or, or wood, they kind of lay out the uh, shape first. Now, I'm just going to start building up. Staying right next to the uh, crown that I, or the top of the, the top of the skull that I put onto the hat. This way I don't go inside his head, I go outside his head. I tell you, I came up with this idea years ago. I mean, I was having a heck of a time doing hats and they always seem to take twice as long and then the, when you, you know, try to do this on the outside, you know, cut a hole and then put the, the brim down on the skull, it just always wanted to lift away or drop down or... and I just found this was a lot easier and it, uh, Holds up really nice. All right, I'm just going to go ahead and continue uh, adding clay. And all the while I do that, I look around it and make sure everything looks fine. Yeah, that's going to be a nice, uh, nice brim. There's a hat band on this uh, hat, and I'm just going to let the uh, the screw part that tightens down this uh, needle rest on the hat brim, and I'll just let the uh, upper one go around so I get the same thickness or height from the brim as the uh, all the way around. The hat billows out over the tightness of the uh, headband. Okay, using my pasta machine. I ran some clay through it and uh, I, I set, it to, set it at the thickest setting. And now I want to make that nice little curl on the hat. And I'm 
trying, going to try to do this evenly all the way around. Because when I bend the brim, I've got to have that curl with it. With it. What I'm doing is just to get the extra clay out of there. Just blending in the curl. I'm not worried about whether this is per, you know horizontal to the brim yet. I'll adjust that as I go. I have lined up the uh, front of the hat with the uh, face. And I just uh, bend it down just a little bit because the brim would tend to go down and form around the head like that. And I'm going to curl. Now you see why I put the curl on there first before I try to do this. And uh, it's hard to do that once you've done this. And I'm going to curl it up like that. Yeah. And see these little indentions here will eventually be filled in. And I want to... See that's the beauty of having the filing cabinet paper underneath because then you can do something like that, get a, a natural bend in it just like a real hat would have. There we go. And now I'll go back and I'll fill in cracks that developed from me um, moving the uh, hat and I'm going to push down on that just a little bit. Yeah. So that's how you do a cowboy hat and that's going to be it for today. And I'll take the hat off tomorrow to uh, do mm -hmm. the uh, hair. Hopefully I'll have this closed in by tomorrow afternoon. So have a great night, everybody, and I'll uh, see you tomorrow. Yeah. I'm liking it. Dave, stop. Go home. You got stuff to do.